Hey, John Prevost here with WhistleBiz.com. Thanks for joining me today. Today is week two. We're launching into week two of the pod series. Last week, we talked about finding passionate employees, affirming their passion, and integrating that passion into our companies. This week, we're going to be talking about developing passion within those employees for our projects, product, and company as a whole. But before we dive into that, I thought it would be good to take a step back and have a little discussion about empowerment. Now, empowerment's a huge topic, and we'll be touching on it a lot as, as, we, as we go forward, but I thought it would be really valuable to uh, put a foundation of what empowerment is and how it's important uh, for what we're launching to into this week. Uh, so it's often said that we li are living in an age of empowerment, that the pendulum is swinging from command and control into empowerment. And we seem to really understand, uh, as most companies, that empowerment is very important theoretically to both employees and managers. However, in practice, this is not nearly as frequent. Uh, we don't see it as, as frequently implemented in the companies. And the question is, why is that? Most of the time, it has something to do with fear and trust. The, the amount of fear that the, the manager has to be able to offload uh, routine decisions and uh, routine processes uh, and, and the level of trust that they have with their employees. It, it, it could be um, just the amount of fear that's in the hiring manager. It could, be, uh, it could be relational tensions between the hiring manager and the employees. A lot of things could be going on. But we know theoretically that we need to be able to get those processes that are just routine work out of management and into the hands of, um, of our workers. And, and so the, and the question is why? Well, there's a lot of great research that's coming out um, about trying to help managers understand that there is a low risk, even though they're still accountable for the decisions that their employees are making, there's a lot lower risk over here uh, than they perceive and a lot higher value to be able to take them and move them into a better investments of their time within the organization. Uh, and that's great. That's what they need to hear. Um, however, there's also another level, there's another component here, which is, of course, the employee themselves. When they feel empowered, when they feel trusted, they are, be, they are growing their passion within the organization. When they know that they're thought of highly within the organization because the decisions they can make and the, and the processes that they're responsible for, they are going to be growing more and more and more. So the bottom line is that we can't go into this next level of getting people really close and really invested in projects, products in the company unless they are empowered. So the challenge for today is if you're a hiring manager to take a step back and look, how would this department, how would my department run if I wasn't here? What, am I relinquishing all the routine decisions and routine processes that are dependent on me every day? Am I letting that go? Or am I not trusting my, my folks enough um, to be able to do that. The, another way, good way to look at it is, uh, am I working myself out of a job? Obviously, that sounds scary, but that's exactly what we all should be doing, is working ourselves out of a job, being able to extricate ourselves from the stuff that is established, the decisions that can be automated and, and pulled out of you. If you're an independent cr contributor, somebody on the floor, you, you have to realize that if you're not feeling empowered enough, uh, it's not just something for you to complain about. It's something for you to go to your manager and try to build trust with them. Try to take one little thing off their plate that's really obvious. Can you can you take the uh, SOW process off their plate? Can you take the invoicing process off their plate? Can you go in there and ask, how can I help you? How can, what can I take from you to make your life easier? Go serve them and build that relationship because because there's no trust there. So or there's not there's not enough trust for them to be putting it in or maybe they're just not thinking about it enough. Anyways, go help your hiring managers. Um, and so it, because you need to be empowered, you need you need to feel that. So those are the two challenges for today. Please uh, email me or comment on the post uh, on the blog, excuse me. Um, it would be much appreciated and, and have a wonderful day and look forward to getting into this uh, getting into this next level of of uh, passion creation within the organization the rest of the week. All right, thanks a lot. Have a great day. Bye.